Hello, this is Dan Perkins, co-founder of Songs and Stories for Soldiers, with another update on our MP3 player. Several people have asked um, about the files that are on the player and how do I access music. We addressed the access music on the last video, but let's talk a little bit about the player. The player, as it comes from the factory, has three files, files A, B, and C. A and B are books. C, the third file, is the music. So when the player comes out of the factory, it's queued up for the A file, which is the first book. So if you play the first file, push the play button, gotta turn it on. Chapter 3, Washington. Now you heard on this particular piece that the book started on Chapter 3. Sometimes it could start on Chapter 1 or the introduction or Chapter 54. Whatever the chapter that it's on, you, you turn you see, and go to the back button. The terrorist unit of the and office. And you keep of Homeland Security. going back. Acknowledge. until you hear the beginning of this music. And that is where the music will play for eight hours. Now let's suppose that you stopped, wanted to stop playing. If you turn the off button right here, the music stops. When you come back and turn it on, and it'll start playing where you left on the music. When the music is ended, you can push the, push the back button and start it all over again. Now, some people have asked, what do I do if I want to play this on my computer or maybe I'm in the middle of a book and I want to take it out and can I play it in my car? The answer is yes and I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's say that you want to take the disc out of the player. You turn it around and you can see here there's a disc and if you, it's spring-loaded and if you press the disc, you'll see it pop out. You'll see it pop out. You take the disc out of the player, and in the back end with the printing side up, you'll see a slot where you put the flash memory card in. And you notice that it's crooked? because it can only go in one way. So if you turn it around so the printing is up and slide it in, you go all the way in and now you can take the MP3 player and make it into a USB portable drive that you can plug into your car, your computer or whatever. And when you're done, when you're back in the house and you want to listen to the music, you take the disc out of the back And you put it the same way it came out, you slide it in. So you've taken the disc out of your flash memory and you're going to put it back into the MP3 player. There's the slot on the side and you put that disc right in that slot and it's spring-loaded so you push it in and it'll catch and now it's ready to play. Turn it on and there it is. There's your sound. It's that simple. So let's review. When you get the MP3 player from the factory, it probably is going to set up on the first chapter or some chapter in the first book. Use the back button to bring it back until you hear the music. And you play. When you push the play button after you've turned on the recorder or the player, you will hear probably one of the chapters in the first book. And let me demonstrate. Cowbell jarred him out of the dream he always had. Armin Hickenlooper snip. So we want 
we don't want to listen to that. We want to listen to the music. So we press the on bu the play button Clocked. and Two push the play Pulled backward. On. In this case, we only had to do it once, and there's the music. So you may have to go, depending on where your, your MP3 player lands in the first file, you could go back maybe 30 places or maybe just two or three, or it might be dead on. Don't get frustrated. Just use the back button and keep clicking until you hear this music, and that's the music that you want to have to sleep with and to relax with. Now, the other thing that people are asking is about, so I've got the player, but what if I wanted to play it in my computer or in a sound system or I'm in the middle of the story and I want to hear it in my car? Well, that's easy to do too because you see on the side, you see a slot here, and that's where the SD card is. You push it in and it pops out. It's spring-loaded. Everybody gets in their package this flash memory stick and in the back of the flash memory stick is a slot. You put that card in that slot and if you're putting it in with the fingers up, the brass fingers up, probably not going to work. So you're going to put it in with the letters up and it goes all the way in. You can see how it's all the way level to the... So you're done uh, with the using the, the flash memory stick in your car and you want to move it back to your player. Well, you just grab the black disc from the end, go back to the side of the player, you're going to turn it around and put the shiny piece strips up, it goes into the slot, spring-loaded, and there you are, and there's the music. So it's pretty straightforward. Understand that there are three files, A, B, and C. It comes preloaded probably on the A file. I just can't tell you which chapter. Whatever the number of chapters it says when you play, push the back button here until you get back to you hear the sleep music. And once you hear the sleep music, you can listen to it for as long as you want. If you want to turn off the player while the music's playing, just move the switch, move the on-off switch to the back, and now the music has stopped and the power is off on the player. You want to hear it some more, you pick up the player, you move the on button forward, and there's the music. So it's pretty straightforward. Just remember, A, B, and C file, the music is in the A file. I just can't tell you which chapter it's going to be. Use the back button to move the disc back to the music. And once you're on the music, just let it play. I hope this has been helpful, and we'll do another one in a little while on how to download from the Internet. This is Dan Perkins. Thanks for watching.